Well, thank you. I will call the other speakers, please.
possibilities and all the potential that is attached to Fab Lab uh, bargain and uh, uh, way of doing things to a more uh, widespread um, uh, presence between architects and, and, uh, and other techniques. Uh, if you can uh, uh, help with this question, I would like to, to know what you think about it. And I don't know, Alexandra or you. Uh, I think it's very really important to understand this connection. For us in the issue day, it's very important to improve this connection. But now the students still don't think that these technologies are important. And I don't know why, but uh, and we are doing in each day a real, really effort to, to improve and to promote all of these technologies. Most of our colleagues from traditional way of looking to these technologies don't like this or don't uh, don't see how this can help in the tradition in the traditional way of process architectural process. But we are trying to connect these families with the social components. We are trying to connect with the industry and the, to the municipality and other um, stakeholders. And that way it could be in the future the students can see that it's important, these technologies are important to uh, their process. Uh, until now we, and we have fab labs in Portugal are starting they, start, they are in the beginning, and uh, it's difficult to understand the, the role of that, that kind of uh, structures in the different structures in the schools and in the, in the society. But I think we are in the right way to do that. We have to, we have to go from research. Most of them, I think, think this is still research, not uh, such an important process. And Pedro is is from the not from the research. It's not academic. It is thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's doing an uh, excellent uh, job improving and uh, trying to promote that kind of. Uh, I could I don't know what you mean. Christina. Christina, I couldn't agree more with Christina in the sense that the. Um, uh, um, I couldn't agree more with Christine in the sense that um, also, of course, in my, our very small scale, as soon as you want to do something, of course you need the tools to do it. Otherwise, or in the society, or in the social, in the social way, because you are not isolated in the school, or in the technical way, or it's not only through the technology or only to the robots, but it's also into, into other fields like Showed, for example, the social approach. So there is different ways that technical architects can do it. And the reason why we are doing actually the normally <laughs> opposite way around, or like persons in research and then we are doing building research, it's also because this um, needs to, to, to structure more our work and to actually understand a bit, to try to, to to understand how we can actually build. Of course, not with robots, we have a very different context than personally that it looks not so far from it. Um, and, uh, and the panoramic is what it is. So we try to work what we have to, to, to tackle things. But for sure, the tools and the techniques that we use, we use because we want to do something. We, I didn't explain because in that time, and also it was not the scope. The scenario facade started as a 3D facade. So 3D in the sense pretty 3D. So it's ceramic in 3D because now it's, it's like just flat, black in a different process, extruded, and the other one will be really 3D printing somehow. And we didn't manage to do it for two reasons. One, because to make it for two, it is in Barcelona, to make it you didn't get enough tools or enough they can it became very, very expensive. Another thing is also technical, so we can get all the technological aspects. So and it would be super expensive to do it, so it was kicked out. So it's a very easy answer in the sense that if you don't manage to resolve the <coughs> technical approach or how to do it, you 
never manage to do what you want. Yeah. Before I allow the audience another question, I have one question. Do your clients ever imagine how the process is? And if they do, how do they react? They know the when you pose that kind of approach, does the client know the, the steps towards the final product or no? no. Okay. <laughs> Just a mysterious thing that they Well I never had clients who were interested in, in card camera. I have clients all different with the, with the totally different uh, interests from companies to private to state. So they have different anxieties as all of us. So to the world, we have one kind of anxiety. So they have all different. Uh, are, I, I'm not the architect who show the process. Okay. There is architects who show the process, I don't show the process. Not even in conference. Well, it's in conference sometimes. <laughs> I don't think it's very interesting. I've been in Holland several times, I, and I for the process. I give up. Questions? Yes. Good <laughs> about gaming. I don't think it would be a very important thing if you could have a serious gaming. And, uh, and I was almost too good to that way. <laughs> but um, I'd like to how do you see it would be the potential of serious gaming? Even with the public, everything in group, there are a lot, a lot of people. Why are the other partners, uh, engineers? Uh, uh, why are they here? They are less interested in the things than, than the architects. And they are technicians. They should be very, I don't see the engineers should be very well, somehow interested in machinery and uh, construction process. And how is your relationship with the uh, specialities in construction when you do this type of Other disciplines are, are other areas like psychology, engineer, and other areas are working with serious, serious games to solve problems. And uh, I think in architecture it's not yet uh, uh, a methodology and technology. And with some, the people are involved thinking that they are not doing uh, anything important. Uh, uh, we are only negotiating and we are only playing, but they are taking decisions and they are working seriously in that, that, uh, that area. I, I think it would be an important uh, methodology to be used in architecture. Essentially, in municipalities, like Ekin shows, uh, because all the stakeholders are in the table and uh, they are taking decisions, thinking that, and they don't see they are uh, that that kind of game is not serious, but it is, but it is, and I think it's important to to, to take decisions that solve complex problems. With, uh, with I don't know why I asked. The engineering. I have the lucky, let's say, I have some very interesting architecture and uh, engineering. The, the guy who made, for example, Ozadi Hotel is a guy who is not very common. He uh, did a PhD, a research and technique, and he has an office. That is a big job, that is a job. Some, some like, of these young guys, so of course, interested and he's very uh, interesting in learning and knowing things. On his, of course, facility. Architects for, for, let's say, they have the obligation, and that's why it's interesting to architecture, the obligation to research, you know. Otherwise, we don't do interesting things, we do just a service. As soon as architecture becomes a service, like engineering is, we have exactly the same interest to all the, all the research. It is zero, and a lot of interest about the invoices that they do.
make different kinds of presentations. And I think it's one of the good things of the international symposium that we know and we have contacts and uh, it's possible for the future um, to have more connections and to get uh, some um, um, contacts and with the different things that we are uh, doing all around the world. So congratulations to you to continue to well, we are just on time to our closing session. Thank you very much for your presentation. We have a uh, performance uh, after the closing session. It will be just a few minutes. The, the performance will be in the auditorium in another building. You, you can come with us and Right. Uh, I call for George, please, please. And we are. Huh?